Page 96, Constant Prayer. I stopped on that one because, you know, I, I and I think maybe I've mentioned this to you in uh, previous conversations, but again, going back to uh, last year when I was in the hospital and ICU and so forth, I mean, I, I had nothing but, but time there as I laid in a bed and had machines breathing for me and so forth. And, and God used that downtime, which I never have because I'm, I'm, I'm plugged in all the time. I got one, I've got one speed, it's go. But he got my attention then. And, and one of the things he got my attention uh, personally was in regard to my prayer life. Not that I didn't pray, I did pray. But it was the, the quality of my prayer life, more than just the at, a, at the table Thank you, Lord, for this food, or now I lay me down to sleep. But he was dealing with me about really drilling deep in prayer. And and this uh, this story is about constant prayer. Constant prayer. And, of course, we all pray on the go. I mean, yeah. everybody does that. You're sitting at the stoplight, you're driving down the road, or whatever it is, and you're saying little prayers to yourself all the time with whatever comes up. And that's that's good. I'm not going to say that's not okay because we're all guilty of that. I'm guilty of it. I hope we're all guilty of that. Yeah. But also, I think he wants us to sit down and get serious. This is like with another human being. When you want to really talk to a friend, you sit down and give them your total, absolute attention. And you don't share that attention at the moment. And that's what I think everybody needs that time every day to uh, to have sincere talks. And I know when you were in the hospital, and I was praying for you then too, I know you had a lot of time on your hands. And you yeah. had a lot of things on your mind. But you did feel that comfort when you laid there and prayed and said, actually formed the words instead of just the thoughts. That's true. And especially when you're in a situation like that, because you are truly in a situation. I was in a situation where I had no control of it. The doctors and the nurses, especially as it relates to COVID, and especially then, nobody knew anything about it. They were all throwing spitballs against the wall. So I only had one place I could go to someone who did know it, everything about it and could fix it. And I talked to him and he did fix it. And he did. And look at you. That's I'm thankful. Good. You're feeling good. You're looking good. And you, you came up, but you didn't know at the time. No. You had faith at the time that it was going to be. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm, I'm happy for you and proud of you. Prayer is important. 